Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a new course specifically designed just to focus on entries. If you would like more information on this, feel free to go to my website at the StockSwish.com. You can also email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com and go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, like me at any one of these places as well. So this is a new class. It's a new and exciting class that I designed because many people were asking me to do a class just focusing on entries. And so this is what it is all about. Every single thing in this class is about how to take intraday entries. It's a lot of charts in it. Uh, I personally love charts, love chart analysis, and it is a course focused on intraday technical entries. Learn where and how to accurately take a position in a stock. Understand risk and proper sizing. Learn how to do ads to the position to maximize profitability and trading gains. And this is a class designed by me, Melissa Armo. So I always like to start out with a quote, choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. This is a quote by Confucius, and this is so true. You know, if you find something that you love to do and can make money doing it, and it ends up being your career and you're in love with it, it's a fabulous life. Many people spend 40, 50, 60 hours a week doing jobs that they just can't stand. And this is not a good quality of life. And it really doesn't even matter how much money you're making. If you don't like what you do for a living, and it encompasses, you know, 80% of your life during the week, then you don't have exactly what you desire for the quality of living in your life, even if you have the money. You've got to do something you love. And if you can find something you can make money and do that you love, well, that's the ideal situation. And for me, I absolutely love trading and I'm making money trading too. So part of the reason that I enjoy trading is the analysis that comes along with reading charts. And I'm really honed down on the detail of stuff when I look at my intraday entries. Now, let's just look at this gap here. This was ARO back in August. Amazing, beautiful gap. And if you didn't know how to enter this gap, you didn't do well on this trading day because it was one of those entries that was challenging and took a lot of skill involved to see how to take it. Many people were trying to go long this chart here, this stock on the 23rd. They were trying to actually buy it. It actually never had a proper entry as a buy. It was never a buy. It, it was never a buy, not, not any time of the day was it a buy. You can even see here into the close, it actually closed under the whole number, under $9. It was a short. And you would have had to properly know how to read entries to determine the entry to go short. There was no proper long entry in this because it wasn't a long. So here is the core trade on this. This is actually a beautiful, beautiful swing trade and the core trade still underway. Uh, as of September 3rd, this was down here, uh, broke $8, ran literally from the day of the gap. This is the night before here at 11. Downward opened in the morning, then it broke 950 and fell like a brick. And the swing trade target, you're at already, core trade still in play. And again, what is the entry in this? Short, 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 short to the short side. And how do you know how to enter it? Well, it really takes skill to learn how to enter trades right. And it's about having a certain level of commitment to the trade. If you are committed to the trade and to what you do, you will learn how to do this properly and become skilled at it. It is something that you do have to learn. And the skill set grows. It grows over time with practice. I find that a lot of people have challenges with entries because they really don't know where to get in, where to put the stop, or how to size themselves. So therefore, then they lack a commitment to the trade. They'll take the trade off as soon as they're down a little, they'll take the trade off as soon as they're up a little, they will lower the stop someplace where it's not supposed to be because they're really not committed ultimately to the trade. And how do you get committed to the trade? Well, if you learn how to take the proper entry and size yourself right, you will be committed to the trade. It's about making the right decision. One of the biggest issues facing traders is a decision on their entry in a trading position. And the second biggest issue is how much risk they want to take in the trading position. Again, this is very important. This must be defined before you take the trade. And lots of people don't know how to size themselves right. And this is so important because ultimately, trading with size is how you can make a lot of money in the market. So decision has to be a big factor. And the second biggest issue is how much risk they're going to want to take in the position. And again, this is something that can be learned. 
It needs to be defined and it has to be defined clearly. Take away the anxiety of where to enter a trade. Just learn how to do it right. Just take away this anxiety. Trading doesn't become so stressful once you know how to do it, whether it's picking the stock or taking the entry in the position. There's a lot less losses with focus. When you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing and you're looking for it and then it does it, then you do it. There's less losses with more focus and more money with the right entry because you won't kill the trade when you're up a little. You won't kill the trade if you're down a little. You'll know exactly what to do. You'll stick with it and stick with it for a move or maybe even to target the dream target. Ultimately, it's about seeing it live in the market. Seeing entries live in the market is one thing the traders need to learn. This is the reason taking a class and redoing classes with free retakes, which I offer, is very helpful. Get used to the patterns and the setup so that you can press the button when they happen live. You have to learn what to do so that you can press the button and make money. If you don't learn what to do, you won't be able to press the button. And if you press the button and don't know what to do, you won't do it right. So you got to do both. You have to learn it and be able to see it live in the market and press the button to do it. Position sizing correctly for profit and less loss must be the goal for anyone that wants to do this professionally. And when I say professionally, I mean to make substantial money. It doesn't matter how many hours a day you're trading. And in fact, I think the less hours a day you trade, the better off you'll be and the more of a professional you are. The goal is not to sit like a regular job eight hours a day. You trade for an hour, half an hour, two hours a day, and that's it. So being a professional doesn't mean doing this for hours and hours on end. It means doing this on a regular basis, getting up in the morning, looking for your gaps and looking for the right setups and entries and trading them when the opportunity arises, when you see them. Not every trade can be taken with the same size. Proper position sizing according to risk is a learned skill and is important in your trading. It matters so you don't risk too little or lose too much. It matters so you make money with less risk and trade less stressed and with more conviction. All you need to do is learn how. So it's about also doing ads to maximize gains. This is one of the things that I teach and talk about in the class. You know, not every trade should be added to. Some things go into themselves and they're too far past where there could be an ad to be taken. And this is a very specialized technique. I do discuss this and teach this in this entries class. Learn what is confirmation. What is confirmation? Sometimes people think something is confirmation, but it's not. They think something's doing one thing, therefore it means it's okay, but it might not be. People lack an understanding of what actual confirmation is. Remember, a lot of this has to do with technical analysis. This is the way that I trade. This is the way that I teach people how to trade. Learn what an entry really is, because many people don't know what is right or wrong or where to put the stop. They really might have absolutely no idea. And you do have to get this. This was the example of the ARO trade. Some people were trying to buy this, and here you can tell. But this was not a buy. The gap wasn't a buy. And this isn't anything here actually at all. This is absolutely nothing. This is nothing to do with anything whatsoever. Okay? So it's very interesting when, you know, when I trade, I'm never looking at things in any other direction other than what I do, which is to the short side. And then when people ask me questions about stuff and I go back, and now I'm teaching it in this class, I always go back and look at it and I say, wait a minute. And then I see there really was no entry there based on exactly the way that I teach entries to do in the opposite direction anyways. And that's also sometimes how I can tell that sometimes things fail because I see an actual entry in something in the opposite direction and then I said, that's it, we're not doing it, don't do it. No, it's a failure. I can, I can tell that too. This one of the benefits, to be honest, of learning when things actually set up right or don't set up right, and then I see the failures, and then I don't play them at all, and then I didn't, don't lose any money in that stock that day, then I trade something else. So, you know, the great thing about learning how to trade well is you can you learn what to do and you learn what not to do. So then you learn what to do and you make money and you learn what not to do so then you don't lose or don't lose as much. Really, it's about understanding what to do in the proper direction with the proper entry and the proper stop. Success comes with having the information of what to do. And this must be learned. How to use price information with precision is something that takes, you know, you've got to be able to read charts well. And if you don't know how to read charts well, then I can teach you. It really does take a certain level of commitment, as I was saying earlier today. 
in wanting to understand how to read price. Uh, you know, this is where it's at. The, in the future going forward in trading, you know, you're not going to be able to make money actually in the market if you don't read price with precision. If there, there's going to be so many different uh, participants in the market uh, that are going to be focused on price more than anything else, that it will be nearly impossible to profit in the way that people used to back in the day if they don't know how to read price right. So the focus must be on price. It's like if you were a scientist and you were going to study a cell and you broke it down and were studying an amoeba, you'd have to really study that thing to see everything was going on in there, to look at the cultures, to look at the DNA, to look at the cells, to read everything, to look at the nucleus, whatever you were trying to do, invent something, do something for a doctor. You'd have to focus on what you're doing just like you do in stocks, except for the focus is price. You have to be good at what you do. You have to be a professional and you have to take your trading just as seriously as anything else that you do is if someone hired you to do a job. The only difference with trading is you're working for yourself. You are your own boss. You report to yourself. You are responsible to yourself, just like you would be responsible to, to a boss. There's no different. So you have to take it seriously. Time is one of those things that is also very vital in entries too. You have to act when the setup happens. And if you don't know what to look for and it happens, then you're going to miss it. And then, then it's too late. The stock could go and drop a dollar, and then there's all the money that you could have made if you'd taken the position. You have to know when to take it. Time is vital. And in the class, I discussion I discuss position sizing because this is one of these things that people go back and forth with too. They want to take a certain lot size every single time. You can't do that. That's not the correct way to trade. That means your risk will be way off each and every single time you take a position, and that can't be. So it's great to say, well, I'll just take 1,000 share lots or 2,000 share lots or 3,000 share lots every time I take a trade. But what if one day your stop ends up being 20 cents and you normally take 2,000 shares, normally getting risk to reward entries or stops that are 5 cents, 8 cents, 10 cents, wanting to risk 200 $250. And one day all of a sudden it's double that and you end up risking 400 $450 and you didn't want to. And if the trade doesn't work, then all of a sudden you're down two losses immediately before the day's begun only because you didn't size yourself right. So this is very important. You can't trade the same exact size every time you take a trade. You know, as it turns out, if you get in a groove with things, you're going to kind of learn what stocks have certain spreads and what stocks have certain stops, and you're going to be able to gauge that before you get your setup in your mind. However, this is something that you do need to learn in order to, to do well, because otherwise you'll take too much some days or too little some other days. And that isn't good either. Taking too little isn't good enough either, because then if the stock goes on to work and the trade goes on to work, you could have made all this money. And if you only risked an eighth of what you were supposed to because you didn't figure out the sizing right, then you could have had a huge day and it could have made your week and you didn't size yourself right. So it goes either ways. It goes either way up or down. You have to size right. It's also about defining risk, having a trading plan, writing it down. How much am I going to risk in each trade? How much am I going to risk each day? How much am I going to risk each week? You have to define this and know it and write it on the sheet way ahead of time before you take your trade. Calculated risk requires preparation. Every single person that wants to be successful in the market has a trading plan if they're taking this seriously for a job, part-time or full-time, either way. And there does require preparation. The preparation is to finding what stock you're going to pick beforehand and determining how much you're going to risk and being okay with that risk too. You can't say to yourself and lie to yourself that you want to take a certain number of risk and then when the setup comes, then you lo and behold, you change your mind or can't do it. You have to take a risk that you're comfortable with. Like this guy here, he was all ready to go. He had his helmet on. What's he going to do when he goes to grab this cheese? He hasn't done it yet, but he's mentally preparing himself here to do it. You can see. This is right before the open here. It's about 9.15. The, the, the market hasn't opened yet. The cheese is still standing here alone, and this hasn't moved. So he's doing the mental preparation right before. He's determining if this is really something he wants to do. Does he really need that cheese? Uh, does he really have to go for that cheese? Is there some cheese over here he could get that would be a lot easier and less risky? No, he's got to get that cheese. It's the biggest piece of cheese in the house and the only one there today. So he's got to get it. And he's prepared. He's mentally preparing himself to take the risk. He has the helmet on. He's done all the work. He's going to pounce and get it and go away quickly before this has a chance to grab hold of him or boosh his head. And if it happens to nip it at the tippy, tippy top, he's going to have his helmet on for protection so he'll be able to slide out from under it and race back into his hole. So he's all situated. He is ready and prepared to do his thing. 
Start getting specific instead of having a fat finger on the keyboard. This goes back to the sizing that I was discussing. Some people will just take any size and anything, and obviously that is just asking for trouble. You can't have a fat finger on the keyboard with size, and you also can't have a fat finger on the keyboard with entries. If something opens, a stack opens on the day, you don't just press the button and get in. I can't tell you how many people have fat fingers where they're so overly excited. They want to take something. they got to have it. They want to do it. Do, do, do. They've got to get in this thing. No, no, no. No. You have to wait. And, and sometimes that waiting might be, you know, five minutes. Sometimes it's 15. Sometimes it's longer. However, you do need to wait and make sure that the tray sets up. Also, you've got to have good money management. Good money management is part of having a trading plan. All this goes together, defining your risk ahead of time and knowing what to do and being okay with it, feeling good about what you're doing. Here is a gap back in July it was. This is Microsoft and it was a beautiful, beautiful gap. This is a golden gap in Microsoft here. And fell on down through, had an amazing move on the day. Now, it didn't go to the target. The dream target on this was $30. It did not get there on the day, even though it had a big, beautiful, fat move. So, again, this is all about money managing yourself here. Here's an example of money management on the day. Say you wanted to hold this to the dream target. What are you going to do? It doesn't get to the dream target. Then what do you do? This is all part of money management, having a plan ahead of time to know what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to hold it to the dream target? What if it doesn't get to the dream target? Are you going to hold it overnight? What time are you going to get out? Things like that. This is another beautiful golden gap, Facebook. Facebook has hit well over the IPO open price now. Beautiful, beautiful golden gap in Facebook. Again, you have your targets for this one. You get in the trade. There were many perfect, beautiful, fabulous intraday positions to take in this and all of these days, and actually the continuation of the days as well. And why? Because it was a quality gap. So quality gaps give quality entries, intraday and trades. Cross is another great example too. This was back in the beginning of, no, this was the end of July. And, you know, it moved so fast and quick, this cross, and had an amazing entry. And went way past what I thought it was going to go into the morning. One of these examples here was something moves bigger and wider and fatter than you ever think that it can and just drops off a cliff. So entry should not be taken like a bet at a casino. Okay, again, no fat fingers, no 50-50. You have to have 100% conviction. You have to believe in what you're doing, and also it has to be something that makes sense and something that you know. It can't just be pressing the button to get in anywhere. Just because a stock you know is going to go in a certain direction even, even if you got the direction right, how do you position size yourself for the risk is how to take the entry and where to put the stop. Otherwise, what are you risking? It could be endless. So this is why it has to be defined. It's not like going to a casino. You've got to learn what the right thing is to do. This takes study and skill and preparation and taking the class. In the class, we're also discussed in these entries, risk to reward. Where are you taking the trade? How much are you risking? Are you thinking about these things? Where are you really taking it? What is the framework or infrastructure in the chart for taking the position? Have you defined your risk in the trade? Risk to reward means getting more than one to one and really means getting more than two to one. Ideally, you should be looking for three to four in the low end and eight to 10 in the high end in each trade. Now, that is your goal. You don't know if the stock is going to get to the target or the dream target on the day, but it has to be there in the chart for you to know that it could work. Because if it's there and tells you where the target is, and it means if you take the trade and only gets one-to-one, -one, then that's not a quality trade. Quality entries and quality gaps give quality risk-to-reward trades. Having the right infrastructure is important as well. This is like the foundation. This is like the foundation for your house. What is the infrastructure? In getting the right foundation, it's in gaps. So look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture in what you're trying to do with your whole life, with your trading. Are you doing this on the side? Even if you're doing it on the side, you can still make money for a half an hour, an hour in a day, and it still should be something that you take seriously. So wouldn't you rather get better risk to reward and learn how to do entries right, even if it's something you're doing part time? And if you're doing it full time, you definitely have to look at it like a professional, like you'd be working for someone else, even though you're working for yourself. You have to take it just as seriously, if not more. Trading ultimately is about income. You are trading for income, whatever that income is that you desire that you're wanting to make, which is based on how much you're willing to risk and the size of your account. 
Trading is about making money. It is about income. It's a fun thing to do. However, you do have to take it seriously. In order to have longevity and consistency in your trading, you've got to get entries correct, know how to take the proper sizing, and know where to put stops in trades. Know when trades aren't going to work so you don't hold them through too long, and be able to take these things and press the button and see it live in the market and do it. Because even if you know every single thing to do, if you can't press the button and do it, then you're not going to make any money. So you've got to learn it so you can press the button. I find that when people learn things, they have conviction to press the button. And this is something, again, that takes practice over time, seeing it live in the market and knowing what to look for. Conviction in your entries helps you stay on track with your trading. It helps you stay on the right road. What is the road? The road to make money. The road to get on, to go down, down this path to success in the market. If you want to make money trading, then detail is required. And there is a lot of detail in this class. You know, detail is one of these things that I personally myself I'm so focused on. It's the reason I've gotten to the level I have with my trading. And I think it makes a difference. I think it's one of the things that gives me an edge. And it can give you an edge in your trading too. So the class is entries. It's an entries course focused on intraday entries in gaps. The cost is $1,800. And if you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. It is an online course. So if you're anywhere in the world, you can do the class. It is an online course. You sign into an online teaching trading room. And I teach the class, and you can ask questions live. So if anyone is interested, email me in the upcoming course at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thank you, everyone, and have a great afternoon.